Hello everyone, well, welcome back to Eltrius Plays Dead Cells. We are going to try and do do well, but <laughs> with this current loadout, I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, don't know about these boots, don't know about this boomerang. Okay, the boomerang's pretty fun. The boots, they have uh, a lot to answer for. How do these boots work? The last kick inflicts area... Of... So there's like four kicks before that happens? Not sure I really appreciate that. But, here we are. Uh, trying to be out of our comfort zone once in a while, that hurt. Not what I expected. Apparently there's a UI option to show how many enemies you've killed. Um, gameplay, maybe? Display number of enemies killed without being hit. So, that's going to be... That's down there on the bottom. I think that's the uh, the metal horns that the guys throw. Oh, thank you. Uh, already very happy with this run. As mentioned in the daily, I've had the advice that if you want to do well on the final boss, you need to go shields. And as I've mentioned a million times in the past to everybody at Nauseam, that's not going to happen because I don't think I can get to the final boss if I'm using shields. However, the uh, least likely way of doing it is probably with... Um, excuse me? Uh, is least is with brutality, so that's interesting. Don't forget about your uh, what do you call this? Don't forget about your grenade. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so perps might be a way to go, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to figure it out. I'm just going to continue to play because right at this point, it's almost like I need to just continue practicing anyway. So I might as well stick in what I'm good at, which is stabbing enemies in the back because they have angered me, right? Uh, collect cells, unlock things, try and keep some money left over for next time, and then we can use the hunter's grenade thingamajig. Ooh, you interest me. I'm going to say no, because I don't, I don't know what causes a speed buff, and uh, I that would be great if I was stuck with the Habayusa boots, absolutely, but I am not. 21 enemies. I'm not quite sure how this uh, boomerang works. I think it just keeps bouncing. It just does what it looks like it does. There's nothing special about it. That's exactly what it says on the tin, as far as I can tell. Um, grenades is a good way to go, but they've changed the uh, mutations, which kind of nerfs the brutality build a little bit in beta. So, I guess we're just going to see where we get to. Nah, you're alright. I would prefer to have three more kills. If possible. I don't know if there are three more kills. Should have some interesting psychotropic pop. <laughs> right. Uh, some money, please? Yoink. Ah, uh, sell this. Not interesting. I believe there are um, no enemies left, although we might be lucky about that place up there. Uh, there were not 30 enemies in the whole... There were 30 enemies, but we didn't, you know, attack them all. I would like to get to that uh, that door, though, that's gated by killing things, so we should really try to find three more baddies and not get hit by them. Also, it kind of makes sense that there are uh, enemies on the way to the door that we do want to take. So, oh, we've got 30, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. And now we can take damage, thank you. <laughs> Just in time. Although I didn't expect it to be like that. I literally just stopped paying attention a second ago because I started thinking about how lucky I am to have managed to get through, how, how skillful I am to have got through the, this uh, stage so far without taking any damage. <laughs> Not how it works. So now I'm uh, low on HP, but that's okay. I'm not too concerned that that happened because I know I need to do 60 for the next one, but whatever, you know, we, we, we have done our besterest. Bunch of money as well. And that. So we've got a bone and a spur. Last shot is Kukritik. 
Uh, but I don't know which one of the last shot is. Okay. Oh, these are all actually quite bad. <laughs> However, I guess we take it over the boomerang because the boomerang is bad compared to it because it's a 4 plus versus a 1. Otherwise, I am really not interested. That's a shame, but again, we could probably get through the next level only uh, with only having to like get 60 without taking a hit. I think we can manage that probably. Let's put this up to uh, yeah. Nope, so it. Don't want a shield. Maybe one day I'll get good at shields. Not gonna happen. I'm sorry. Let's just do that. Poison target. Apparently you can upgrade these to have a stat. Uh, I'm not using that enough to make it worth spending all that money. Um, the cooldown is a good thing. It really helps. It kind of replaces the grenade thing from from the release version to some extent. So we will be uh, able to use our grenade more often and I just have to remember to actually do so. What I don't know is, does it work... Does the ice effect work in the sewage? Bad start. Very bad start. Again, one of the things that I'm worst at in this game is uh, understanding when things are about to hurt me. Uh, is it the last shot that will kill the enemy? Yes. I think. <laughs> it's so confusing. How do you know it's the last shot? Because you need the critical hit to... I don't know. Bollocks. <laughs> Remember about that, because that is how you always uh, lose your bonus. Well, it could just be three. Right? Three looks right. Come back. Run. <laughs> what, excuse me? I, don't, I couldn't read what it said. I just noticed that there was an RB do something. Sort of job going on. Why? <laughs> what? I was genuinely so certain that dude was dead to all heck. I didn't even bother avoiding the attack. Man. I bet it'd be 60 enemies left in this flipping level. Nice. This is an excellent bow, actually. I know I wasn't bothered about it when I found it. But now I am glad of it, quite frankly. Because it also seems to have piercing on it. Has it got piercing on it? No, but it seems to be doing so anyway. So we are coup critiquing all of these enemies. Um, I want to look in this. Hello? Grr! Mm hmm. Thing you. I'll get it back, you'll see. So, it, that's what he used to do. Oh, I see. He is the person who I kept the rune. I went to get his rune and I kept it, and now he's mad at me. <laughs> he seems to be in every incarnation of this twisted up dungeon thingy. Nice. I keep rolling too far, which is upsetting. Because uh, I want to be behind the enemy to stab him, and I keep ending up way behind the enemy, and I can't stab him. Anymore. Fifteen. That is not many, if I'm being honest. It does take a little bit longer to fire the critical shot, but honestly, it doesn't matter. I nearly missed time that to the point where I was no longer rolling. <laughs> when the enemy came by me, so... Whew. Can't get through there... Fine! What should we talk about? I had my bike cleaned. My push bike, my pedal bike. At a place that normally does vehicles. Uh, we take our car there reasonably often, so... That's cool. But... Um, Honestly, I thought he would charge me like two, three pounds for it. He charged me the full tenner. Bros. He charged me ten quid. Ah, I nearly slammed down there and I thought, wait, there might be some poison and I don't want to get poisoned. Um, ten whole quids for 
I mean, he's, the price list says five pounds for a small car in the first place, but he did do a big job on it, to be fair. It's not like he, uh, scrimped on it. Oh, you bastard! I was between a rock and a hard place, which is how things work. I have squandered that so badly just from that simple mistake there. I should have just left, you know, or gone behind the other one. But I really, really wanted to get that slug thingy killed, the ugly worm killed. Come on. Uh, I was a little bit outraged that you wanted a full tenor for it, but not so much that I was going to say no. I really don't care. <laughs> this seems... All right, this is where we can um, stand here. I don't understand why you keep... Why are you so obsessed with clipping to the the floors and walls that you don't want to be on? Right? I, I appreciate that there's a helpfulness to you grabbing onto walls and stuff for me, but a lot of the time I really want you to just fall where I'm expecting you to be. I will ask you if I want you to climb on the edge. I know I complain about this game a lot. And I, I know there's a certain sense of just get good, right? Stop being bad at the game and you'll stop having things to complain about. Get used to the mechanics, basically. But it's almost so smooth and yet there's these... Ow. Problem. Uh, that's another thing that I really can't get over is that I... I don't know when to stop. You know? I should just not be in that situation in the first place. Don't get hit. It's easy. Run away. But I, I, I do find it really... It's stressful, okay? <laughs> it's like a, a victim complex going on because I think that the game is going to punish me for running away by not letting me... Hello? By not letting me perform the manoeuvres that I need to perform in order to get away. I would like to see this chest. Um, so, it's like it, it's been taking away from me my, my ability to, to do that. I'm going to say no to this because we need... We can't replace either of our weapons with it, unfortunately. Otherwise, it's a decent uh, decent offering, but I'm not going to... Couldn't roll. Couldn't roll. Stop! Um. So, I, I don't run away from situations because... Exactly, that was a perfect example. The game caused me to take so much time in order to run away that fighting is usually the best thing to do. Because he grabbed onto the edge when I thought I was doing a perfectly good job of explaining that I wanted him to jump. He can jump high enough that he didn't need to grab onto that edge, in my opinion. And yet he did grab onto that edge. Which is super annoying. Can you just not oh, you should re-roll this shot, honestly. Um. It says hold to inflict critical hits, but it doesn't say that it will hurt me. Uh, it was pointed out to me that I had um, not read the, the description of the lightning bolt that I had in the previous episode when we fought... Um, conjunctive items and died, that holding, channeling that one was causing me damage. This one does not say it, okay? <laughs> I'm looking at it and it, say, it does not say it. Okay, so if this causes me damage, I'm going to be salty. It's not as good, maybe. But it may also be that channeling this one does not start to crit, so I'm not sure. How can you hit me when I was literally behind you? The whole point of you is... Ow. Look. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning this game all over again. Like, I've never played it before. But let's just test it out. This is not... It is hurting me. This does not say it will hurt me. 100%. Nothing in that says it hurts me. And yet it hurts me. It does go red. You see that? So we, if we keep it in the whatever colour zone it is where it's not red, 
and not a uh, vital, I suppose blue. There's a there's a crit zone and then there's You're just taking the mick. <laughs> it will hurt me, but only if I channel it for far too long and it does not say so. There's a thing, apparently, uh creative vision, where you literally just skim over things. We can electrify water, that's really cool. Uh, you, you don't read because you're too busy playing a game. Whatever. This time I thoroughly read it and I found nothing. Considering that Zap P5 is the water there, I, I'm quite happy to suggest that I'm gonna be able to use my frost grenade to freeze the water as well. We've only taken 11 baddies without taking a hit, so. Doubt we're gonna get to 60. Which is silly, because I shouldn't have taken the majority of those hits in the first place, but here we are. Um, I, I maybe should not have sold the bow so forthrightly, because I, I was very convinced about my performance. No, it's not just that, I was convinced that because it didn't say it was going to um, hurt me, it wasn't going to hurt me. But it is hurting me, and it makes me a little bit sad... Um, I feel like I've been hoodwinked. I've been taken for a ride. I've been double crossed. There's a scroll of power. We should take it. Uh, I think we're on the branch where the scrolls of power don't. All right. Uh, don't increase the, the enemies. I think the enemies are just generally balanced. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. But I don't know. Let's um. Get this for the sake of it. Oh, it's money. That's nice. I paid for some of the price to get in that scroll of power. Oh. Anyway, it was an outrageous price, but he did do it by hand. It was dark though, so I got it back in and I looked now and there's still muck on it. But it's in, in crevices that you would not normally uh, expect to get just by throwing water at something. Use, this place that uses a pressure hose and everything like that, but I wasn't sure that they would be open because I can never really forge that one. Might as well do this one. Right. Sure, why not? Um, so, there's a social contract involved in science. I have to, I have to explain this because if people put signs up to say things like "no entry," essentially, right? And you're supposed to honour it. And they assume that you're going to honour it. There's memes going around uh, on the internet. One of them from, uh, I think, Arthur, the, the kids' TV show, and one of them from The Simpsons, where they just say, it's a sign, but the sign can't enforce itself. You need a person to do that. So I'm just going to ignore the sign. Uh, in one case, it's Lisa Simpson saying, well, it's just a sign. And the other one, it's, um, I, I don't know the name of the character, saying, it's a good thing I can't read. Because I don't... <laughs> the sign's probably saying something, but it's a good thing I can't read it, right? Probably could have done that better. But we obey signs that say, you know, no entry, etc. That sort of thing. So there is a, an expectation that people who make signs makes. What is happening? How did that hurt? This, these bloody mushrooms! Get out of my face! These are the bane of my existence. There's no way I'm going to get through this without getting hit once every 30 enemies at least. That's a very conservative estimate. I'm going to get hit a lot more often than that. Because of these damn mushrooms. I see you there. I can't. Why? It literally said I could not use my uh, grenade when I was in a perfect position to use my grenade. These are the raison d'etre of these items that I carry, you are supposed to allow me to use them in order to ensure my own survival, but you won't. Very rude. Um, we, we, the same place that did my bike, have a sign that says open seven days, seven till eight or something, right? Which basically means all the time. I'm never going to walk past it in my daily life without it being open. Right, we can't open that. We need two boss cells to be active in order to open that. 
Die! Help. That went well. I do like the channeled lightning thing because it does tend to kill things before it starts to hurt me. See, I'm not going to try jumping over there because you're going to end up in the drink and I'm going to be sad. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my best game. Come on. I'm doing everything expected of me. And then you're just punishing me anyway. Finding it quite frustrating. Be here for a while. Nice. I don't think those uh those spawn things count just as they don't count if you are cursed. Anyway, he did do it, but I managed to stop him from making it a problem. It wasn't open one day, um, but there's a sign, right? If we are expected to obey signs like no entry, employees only, what have you, then you have to uphold the same social contract in the other direction. You, have, you can't put up signs that are clearly false, because we're going to start assuming that not all signs are necessarily true. That's basically what it comes down to here. If you allow signs to exist that are clearly uh, nonsense, we're going to have to question the signs that you put up. Like if something says no entry, does it mean no entry all the time? Or does it mean no entry sometimes? Because if it says it's open all the time, all the time, and it isn't open all the time, all the time, you know, there's, there's periods where the sign that says a thing is the case is not the case, and there is no indication that it is not the case right now, except for the fact that the obviousness of the fact of it not currently not being the case. Right? Like... Yikes! Stop it with the mushroom already. At least we can uh, take him out with a very brief amount of channeling of the lightning. Similarly, if a weapon doesn't say this will hurt if you channel it for too long, then it, it, it shouldn't hurt uh, to channel it for too long. Jen's just messaged me saying, waiting to find out if I need to take Carmen to St. Cross. So she's working with kids, because that's what she does. Um, all of a sudden, <laughs> she's messaged me saying that she might need to take one of them to hospital. So I'm a little bit worried about what could be going. If you'll excuse me. Uh, yikes. What's happened? Question mark. Um, she... That doesn't sound nice. This is a Swift Swords 4, which honestly, the Assassin's Dagger is too old. The DPS on this is already good enough. Just without buff. I've only killed 18 enemies without getting hit. Uh, I'd like more XP if you don't mind. And that's, uh, both the purple and the green are going to help this Lightning Bolt. And the Lightning Bolt is helping me, so I'm happy with this. I'm being super careful now because I'm terrified that I'm going to get owned by a blooming... You move. Uh, owned by a mushroom that I didn't see and I'm not going to be able to jump out of the way because there's going to be an enemy... They like to corner me in this game, I'll be honest. Get out of it. I do have a speed buff, so I should be critting a lot right now. Yikes! What? Took damage. It doesn't take- you don't do damage until you're red, and that was not red. I am outraged. This game is doing my head in. Will you make your mind up about your own flipping mechanics? See, that was... I don't know. <laughs> there was nothing there to hurt me as far as I could tell. I was pretty sure that I wasn't taking... Oh, that hurt. I wasn't sure... I was pretty sure I was not taking damage from those fighters because... I was very much endeavouring not to. The uh, crits on this sword are a slow swing. I'm noticing. 
but I think that's okay. It's not that slow. It's not slow like the um, Nutcracker or anything like that, which I really don't understand. Stop grabbing onto walls. There's too many... Uh, I find it very difficult. <laughs> There's too many of these um, uh, little chutes and chimneys and things where there's no way for you to fall down it without touching something that it wants to grab onto. I feel like there should be a button that says, yes, grab onto this. Uh, I'm splitting between purple and green simply because it doesn't matter at this point which one I use, but I do want... Um, I do want there to be more HP, so I'm going for the most HP that I can. Now, this is the one that you get stuck in, right? Yeah, and there's no fix to it yet. So I'm not going down there. I've recognised it, and I have avoided it. Well done, me. Although, having an excuse to end this run where I've been embarrassingly bad at the game and done nothing but complain about it, I don't like to be salty. It's not like I'm a... I mean, I am generally a salty person, but I like to try at least to... to see the things from the right... from the, the, the useful perspective, you know? The one that doesn't necessarily put anybody in a bad light, but... As far as this has been concerned, I, I just have no excuse. There is nothing but salt for... Honestly, it's just been the... I don't want it. It's just been the... Uh, the oh, maybe I did want it. Uh, the, the, the mechanics of the game so far have been very rude to me. There's another one. How am I supposed to get down here without you grabbing something by accident? Hoping that there's no way down. The only way he will not grab onto something is if you're doing the smash attack, which of course. Nope, down. <laughs> uh, it just means you smash onto spikes. Right? Let's go this way. See if there's anything more in this level to be of assistance to us and see if we can get a little bit less salty in the next level, which actually might be easier. I do find this particular level. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me, I find this particular level. That much more difficult. Just it's just a cheap <laughs> with all the mushrooms and the spikes and the oh why I don't want any of this. I'm getting hungrier and hungrier, and at some point I'm going to have to reinstall my computer, which means there may be a big hiatus before I can play again. So it might not be the best time for me to be playing, especially since I'm salty that you know there's been a. It's been a, a slight against my person, suggesting that there may be signs that don't make sense, don't apply, without there being any obvious um, you know, time limit on the sign. Health version two at a time. Extended healing could be good. Um, but we'll go for gold reserves so that we can more often afford the hunter's grenade. I think that's going to be useful. Let's do this. Biters. Yes, I like biters. How much money have we got? Not much. I'm going to save the money just in case. Uh, this is not much use. I don't know. <laughs> None of these is any good for the next thingy. The other thing is maybe uh, redoing your mutations is a good way of getting through. You know, you should maybe redo them for the level coming up. Um, parries. That parry is in colour and all the other parries are not. Ammo, dead inside. Sure, I've not been eating food anyway. And this is kind of the only one that makes any sense so far. Uh, at least for the next level. We can always reset them. If we get through this insufferable crypt. And at least this time I know not to channel for too long. But I still have to point out it does not say that. I thought it would at least say that. You know? So now we just channel. I'm gonna, basically I'm going to channel until it starts critting. And then I'm going to stop channeling. I started channeling and then started hurting. I saw it do the I'm looking at you attack. But it weren't good enough. Let's do this. This seems like a good way of handling this, right? 
I would like a speed buff so that I can uh, get my crits going on this attack we've got here. Being close to a deployed skill was an option, actually. So it's possible that that might have been the correct thing to do there. Because if I just stand down here, I, I will get uh, a whole bunch of bonus to stand in next to these jokers. Fighter style, too. No slowing. I mean, slowing, yes, but like, I'd rather if you just die faster. <laughs> That's alright. You're not hitting it. Hit it. What are you supposed to do if you're not going to hit it? Yikes. Keep doing that, don't you? You keep managing to look at me and then charge at me. Is this when it's just not doing anything? So I'm like, all right, I'll take the opportunity to attack, and then it doesn't attack, and I'm going. But I literally can't move. I've just committed to this course of action. So um, chuck this grenade at him. There we go. Will you attack now? Yikes! Here's the other thing. This uh, lightning bolt doesn't really uh, strike me as... Oh, that didn't work. Strike me as something that's uh, very good at aiming. To be honest with you. Also, I'm not getting any speed buffs from this fight. So my sword is useless, essentially. I'm saying that not to suggest that uh, a weapon that can crit but doesn't crit is useless, but it, it's certainly not living up to its potential. And on a fight like this, if you're not at max potential, I ain't got no use for you. Refresh that, we might as well. Just camp. We got some crits out of that, that's nice. Um, as long as we can get the, the grenade to do something, but it seems a bit difficult on account of how, first of all, it's got a huge cooldown. And secondly, it's really annoying. So, <laughs> there you go. Alright, so you, uh, you get got. What? How did you do that? How did you... Nice. No! <laughs> need to uh, tempt them up without actually being there when they pop up. Like that. Ooh. There's a lot of, um, a lot of effort involved in... Ooh paying attention, because I would like to be able to crit them with the lightning bolt, but they tend to come towards me and not let me do it, which I don't know is quite in their prerogative to uh, not allow me to attack them, but at the same time, chill your beans, you know? They've got a speed buff, why can't I have a speed buff? That would help. I had already rolled just for speed. It's, I've got this Zelda thing going on where rolling is how you go faster. I rolled in midair and it worked. That's a Smash Bros thing. <laughs> Do something. Stop chaining yourself around. Get on with it. Bit of, bit of damage there. We're not doing too badly on HP, but we're getting to the point where it's going to start doing the dodge, the attack that I cannot do. I'm pressing the roll button, but rolling is not happening, even though I did not see a reason why that would be the case. Did you see that mad skills just now, by the way? I thought I was slamming the ground, but I actually just dazed myself. Not ideal. Come on. Do that so I can do this. That's grand. I don't mind doing that at this point. Oh, I didn't turn around in time. Or properly. Or whatever the word might be for that. Is there a way of dodging it? <laughs> Please, somebody. There must be, right? Thank you for being dazed from my daze attack. I tried to throw a grenade, but apparently I wasn't allowed to. For no reason. I wasn't doing anything. It just went no. Try not to damage yourself, but at the same time, 
get as much damage done to the boss as you can. Oh, didn't see that one coming in. I zoned out. My mistake. It's okay. At least I recognize my mistakes. That's the important thing. Don't let it. Yep, good, good, good. Don't do it so much that you end up. Uh... Whoa! You see that? There was one in popping up underneath me at the same time as there was one, uh, you know, charging towards me. Can't let that happen. That was, uh, that was decent. I'm okay with that. Also, we could just, like, try and get them all to pop up under here, and that'll do. <laughs> right? Lay these things down. Get them to pop up. Running away from those ones is an option. Running away from the red ones is not. Ow. So, yeah, just hang out here. Get them to kill themselves on the stabby things. Obviously, when they pop up, they uh, damage it, so it's not viable long term. But it does seem to work to some extent, and we can always like do that. Quick, while there's none near me. It's just a matter of keeping an eye on this many things. I, I, I my brain will not. <laughs> That one's gone over there. So where's... How do you know if they're about to come at you like a jazz hand? That was okay. Do this. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Again with that. Stop it. <laughs> I rolled. I knew he was going to do that. And I rolled instead of allowing it. Alright. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. What is that big red glow? Stop rolling <laughs> just at random. It's not helpful. I really got to get out of the habit. It's definitely a habit I'm in, but I, I can't break it to save my life, literally. I think we're going to win this fight, though. If I can just get some more of those in, we'll be good. Uh, and not have too many of these, please, because these are nonsense and hateful and shouldn't be allowed. What does a boy do, huh? Scrambled eggs all over my face. He's done it. I was... I really didn't care if that last one started hurting me. Uh, okay, Jen's gonna have to drop Kenzie in. So... I guess we'll find out what's going on. Uh, so, I may have to run away in the middle of this episode and give you a, a couple of minutes, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let me say yes. Yes. Maybe my run will be over then. Or I can just take a couple of minutes and he Discord me though. Cool. So maybe oh twin daggers is good. Twin daggers three. I don't know if it's better. What have we got here? A blueprint for gastronomy. Interesting. Um, I think because the crits are easier to enable, and of course we can uh, upgrade that. Graveyard. I haven't been to the graveyard for ages. What's this one? Slumbering Sanctuary. Wait, which one's that? Do I hate that one? I think so. Let's go in there. I kind of don't like the graveyard either, but we'll see. Managed to get through that fight without too much of a trouble, and knowing that the uh, lightning bolt was hurting me probably helped. Oh, I remember. Yes, I do hate this one, because... What's gastronomy? Um, uh, because of those golems that you just can't avoid. <laughs> I would like some better mutations available to me. And you know what? Let's see if we need anything different. We've only got 7,000. Uh, so we have this one and this one. This one might be better than this one. I don't have much HP at all, do I? Right, let's reset and take all three of them. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> Whatever. Oi. So, this is not going to be fun. Or it is going to be fun. I'm not sure. The first time I did this, I just beat the heck out of the level and it was easy. But I think I got really lucky and didn't come across any golems. And ever since, 
this has been my nightmare. So welcome to my nightmare. Enjoy your stay. Well, that was a good start. Nice. Nice. Uh, no. Even though it's got all the magic of things we like. Also, don't forget lightning does actually have this synergy with water, which is really cool. Uh, I feel like when they're slowed, you actually have a little bit more of a chance of escaping their clutches, because... Um, when they're slowed, it certainly seems to me... Stop! <laughs> but, uh, there is a gap... Oh, I'm nearly dead. I'm not dead. Between when they... This guy. Um, that was terrible. This is awful. I have no build. Even in my mind, I have no idea how you would build a run to deal with this area. Um, when they're slowed, you have more time to deal with the, uh, the, the fact that they try and stab you as soon as they've got you in their clips. But... Until they're slowed... Um, they, like, they can hit you as soon as they, as you're near them, which they force to happen. So, am I still? No, I, I can still use it. Mm, I don't know. Peter Crossbow, four. What have we got? Honors, four plus. So it's likely to be maybe better. Three hours at the same time, but it might be. Uh, it's very expensive. <laughs> Cursed treasure. Is a maybe. Oh, let's do it. You know, I, uh, I've i got further than I expected and I've unlocked a new thing. And I don't feel comfortable with this run getting us very far. And that was awful. So, why have you given me vampirism? Even though it's colourless and blah blah blah, I don't care about it. Uh, maybe one day I'll be enlightened and start using these things more usefully, but... It's not my kind of. <laughs> it's not my kind of, uh, uh, of item, especially when I've got two good DPS. Items. Well, one uh, good DPS item and one item that is both DPS and um, and control, crowd control. Some say the sap that runs through the walls is flowing through the causing malaise, but perhaps the problem can also be the solution. Interesting suggestion. Nothing here. Would like there to be something here. Uh, slightly upsetting that Jen has to go to the walking center with one of her charges. They've been on a picnic, which is a great idea. Jen does tutoring for disadvantaged kids, which means in some cases, uh, kids... Who, uh, by the way, there is no teleport <laughs> all this way. I've got all, all the way back. Um, form through the gaps of the school system because the school system is horrendous and has no regard for people in, in difficult situations and also means kids who have um, like developmental difficulties or personality uh, issues or such things that um, is this my only option? Uh, make, make their education more difficult for both themselves and people around them so I think I'm going to die because I've activated this and I know for a fact there's going to be a couple of enemies here that I am not going to be able to deal with. Now that that's the case, there we go. So I need to freeze this joker. Kill it fast. Done it. He's done it. And that was two enemies because... Okay, this is fine. <laughs> I don't need that yet. And if I survive long enough to need uh, healing, then I will use it. But I'm very... My heart is in my throat. It's not even in my throat. It's pounding. I can feel it. My chest is tightening. This is a fear response. This is the way the human body was designed is to <laughs> pump adrenaline, adrenaline in, into the system. 
at exactly this point and make it really, really difficult to do things with finesse or electric rip five. I don't think so. Maybe I should have got the uh, DPS when you recycle. Again, no. <laughs> Shit. Oh, 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 I held my breath. <laughs> oh, that felt that felt like I was actually forcing the behaviour of that out of myself. Thank you for not being actually affecting anything. Where are you? <gasps> He's done. I wasn't even counting. I wasn't even aware of the number above my head. I was just killing things and hoping for the best. Woo! Uh, that was really not worth it, and that is, I guess, the uh, danger of a cursed chest, ultimately, is that it's just going to have crap in it if you're not lucky enough. Um, but there we go. I might as well go down here. Oh, no, there's more. What am I doing? I've missed a bit. I think I have at least found a build that will help me deal with some things in this level that I have previously and hitherto been uncomfortable with, like those flaming... Uh, golems, but also I fought the golems on a daily at least once before. And this is the value of a daily, I guess, is that you, you get to fight things that you don't fight very often. Unfortunately, you're always fighting the damn concierge. However, you know, it's still not invaluable. Well, that was a brief break during our game. Jen turned up, didn't discord me, as she was instructed to do. Um, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go all that way. I know. I know it's far. No, not this one. Maybe this one. Sure, whatever. Um. Great. I couldn't even see it. Another complaint to have. Things happen that I can't see. I don't like it. Stop doing things that I can't see. Um. The the problem is not. Her. It's not broken a leg or anything. She's. But the kid, who's Jen's taken to the walk-in centre, she has got an infection. And the infection is in a hole that she's made in her ear in order to insert a small piece of metal, which, of which, I mean, there are many options for which piece of metal to put in there. Ah, and I wonder if there's other things like ceramics and stuff. Ooh. Excuse me? I'm very glad I did this. <laughs> I knew that would happen. Why didn't you do something about it then? Well. <laughs> oh, fun. Um, I wonder if, like, yeah, a ceramic would make sense, wouldn't it? Something like that. Actually, that was a lot easier than it has previously been, although I'm doing a decent amount of DPS right now, where previously, um,. I would have nothing but cause for complaint because my DPS would be so shockingly, appa ow, shockingly appalling that I would have nothing but uh, nothing but problems with these enemies being right next to me. There we go. That that caused me a bit of an issue, but we had no curse, so we didn't die immediately from it. Had we met that one earlier on, probably would have been more of an issue. Um, I don't like pierces. <laughs> Okay. I don't like piercings and I don't like tattoo. Basically, I'm freaked out by body modification. Uh, and I'm sorry to inform you that there's nothing you can say to change my mind because I've tried everything, you know? Um, I know that it's none of my business and I know that, you know, people have a right to their body and it's very, very common to do things like have your ear pierced, your lip pierced, your nose pierced. But in my head, the, the actual... Um, Sorry, I was just checking Jen's message on Discord was not something horrible. Uh, in my head, I just get freaked out by it. You know, it, it, my imagination goes wild, and this is the problem. I can talk about it now. I didn't used to even be able to do that. So I'm going to go to the Forgotten Sepulchre for some deeps, or should I go to the Clock Tower? I actually do genuinely, genuinely think that I should go to the Forgotten Sepulchre. And do you know why I was saying that? This is going to be fun. Uh, well, not necessarily going to be fun, but... Um, 
I don't know if I can beat the clock man, the watchmaker, why would you uh, I certainly didn't do 60 on that one, that's for sure. <clears throat> Traps are capped 10%. Traps 10 minutes. Hang on. Traps damage are capped 10% of your max HP. Increase your movement speed by 20% during 20 minutes. I mean, I'll forgive the slightly broken English there, that's fine. And no problem with that. It's just confusing. I don't know what you're telling me. 3 plus. This is only a 3 plus at this stage of the game as well. That's a big problem. Burning target and oil. So we we don't. I mean, we do have this, but who cares? This has got biters as well. I don't really want to reforge that. Fair enough. Then that's going to cause a lot of fire to go around. Even though ice is involved, they don't necessarily energize, which is that word that we semi-invented as a culture, not me, not us watching this video, um, as the opposite of a synergy. It's not like they work against one another necessarily, but <clears throat> uh, they don't necessarily work with one another because obviously the fire is going to break the ice, <laughs> um, but we would like to have... Hang on, what am I saying? Can you not have this cursor on the screen while I'm trying to do that? Uh, maybe we should have... We might as well go full on greens. Uh, we've got reds and purples already. And therefore... Um, yeah, this is good. Because as soon as that oil gets on them, as long as somebody is running around in our... Uh... I tried to roll, but you just didn't let me. <laughs> sort of said no, no rolls for you. Um, it does require us to have our uh, it does require us to have our grenade enabled for the fire to show up so I'd like an alternative way of producing fire which is a bit rich because of how um I turned down a firebrand, but that was a long time ago and we didn't know what was coming up. So I think that was the right decision then, but I don't know if it would have been a terrible decision to have done it, if you see what I mean. No, there's nothing here. Okie dokie. Uh, I was saying... It's a it's an instinctive gut reaction. This is the problem. I, I, I can't just say... I can't just be okay with it. No piercing, just tattoos, etc. I can't. I got to the point where I can talk about it, but if somebody gets one, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> the thing is, I can. I don't have a problem with people who already have them, which is also weird. I don't have a problem with people in general. It's not like I'm saying, ooh, no. Is this better? Probably. But it is perp. It's biters still. I think I prefer it. Let's get rid of that. Um, can we? Where's my light? Give me light. That's close. Uh, people who have them more. I mean, it's part of the person. It doesn't um, doesn't worry me. It doesn't freak me out or anything. When the person shows up with a tattoo or a piercing, etc. Uh, unless I start to think about it, and I really like. I really have to be in a. Very specific. I'm not even sure what situation it would be in, and I don't know what you call it. Um, but I rarely think about the fact that these people have tattoos and piercings. Uh, it's just it upsets me, and the the process of getting it upsets me. Um, I, I, that's all. You know, it, it it concerns me. It causes my imagination, as I mentioned, to run wild, which is to say that. Um, I get really, really into my head about the, the like the invented feeling and the and the weird like attitude that you must have to have to want to do that to yourself. Uh, I don't want to be I want to be hacker rude about it, you know. Do you know what? This is probably better. I would like to upgrade it and probably replace it still, but I'm not going to use the. Uh, Barnacle to any great effect at all. So, let's not worry about that. 
Even so, um, I have to, you know, you still have to acknowledge people's right to do that. You know, I can't just say, hey, you're all wrong for wanting piercings, etc. You just have to say, I don't encourage this. And I mean, I have been in the position. Jen wanted new holes in her ears. And I immediately freaked out when she suggested it. And then I freaked out when she did it. And then, so the problem right now is that that kid has an infected ear piercing, which is fresh. How, that's the other thing. How are we in a position where we still have infected ear piercings in 2018, right? It shouldn't be impossible. We should have figured it out. Maybe it's to do with the care of it, but it's not like Jen didn't take care of hers, but they both went horrible. Hurt incredibly, and she took them out, and she still has a little mark where the infection was. So I'm like, well, it wasn't worth it, because you spent money on a procedure which maybe didn't necessarily hurt in and of itself. You know, it's like a little pinprick, but the you made a hole in yourself, which is not, like, there's not supposed to be a hole there, <laughs> otherwise there would be, right? And then it it got infected, so now everything hurts. And now you are in a position, and then you had to take it out. So you spent the money, but you didn't get any benefit because all you got was holes in your ears that hurt. You have some. I, I want that cell, but I don't know how much I want to go back and get it because that light broke. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to leg it. Okay, good. Now we can do this, and I don't need to worry about it so much anymore. These things don't have the... Uh, I keep thinking that they have the grappling hook, so I'm staying out of range and hoping nothing goes wrong, but... Where's my quip key? Bowie quip key. It must be over there. I wish that they would put teleporters nearer to these locked doors, so I don't have to walk all the way back. Oh. I've gone wrong anyway. And that's why, because I'm bad at walking back, apparently. Now, I know that, yeah, there's... At least there's lights near these teleporters and things. Like these rune stones. But at the same time, come on. Lights, please? Nice. What is this one? Have we seen this one? Is there anything here? So, yeah, I agree. Bodies have woken up again in this darkness. No longer continue my experiments on the melees here. I think it was uh, lamenting the darkness in that sentence. Common literary trick is to put an exclamation mark as the third uh, dot in an ellipsis. There is a fire grenade. I do wish the printer would stop freaking me out by turning itself on. <laughs> This is basically the infantry grenade, but better. I will buy it, even though it's expensive. Um, and the reason is... We want a fire synergy. So now we have a fire and ice sort of combo going on. We don't have a... Um, key yet. So it must be over here. And there may be some... Uh, broken... Uh, Broken lights over here, so we need to be careful because we're not going to be able to activate a light if I've activated it before and now it's gone off. In the turned off sense, not in the. You know, the. Uh, help! Not in the mold sense. It's a cataclysm problem, not a. Darkest dungeon, no, dead cells problem. Okay, good. I like the speed. I appreciate when you get the speed bonuses because then you can run through the darkness to the next light thingy without, you know, crying about it too much. Can we go somewhere more interesting? I don't think so. Fine. This is neat. Anyway, I don't want to say that she got what she deserved because that's cruel and mean. It's more that she got what I expect. Which is one of the things that freaks me out the most about piercings. And it's one of those weird ones because um, there are certain things where you 
sort of put yourself in that situation and go, yeah, I could see myself with a piercing, but I can't see myself again. It's the same as a tattoo, in fact. You know, if I were to get a tattoo, I would be X, Y, Z. But, there's absolutely no way I'm ever going to get a tattoo. Also, white, that hurt. I did appreciate that. Nice, turn that on. Thank you. We can use our fire grenade when we need crits, which is nice. Uh, actually, when we just need more damage. That's the same. Uh, light, please. Light, please. Whew. Uh, do we have to do this? There's an elite. No? So I shan't. Not comfortable with the idea of an elite. There's a scroll of power. We should get it. Uh, there's no reason not to, I think. And it might just might help us against this. Uh... Wonder if that continues to hurt them when they are in spinny mode. Hmm. Nice scroll then. Good dodge. Well done. Surprised we beat the concierge. I'm usually so uh, no. The uh, the conjunctivitis, but I'm usually so poor at that. Just because I'm doing stupid stuff all the time. <laughs> you know, I'm always rolling at the wrong point, so then I don't have a roll available for when I really, really need one, etc. The Forgotten Sepulchre, no, the Slumbering Sap. Whichever one that just was. Is, I mean, I was going to say it's kind of easy. I know I've died a couple of times on it. And I know. <coughs> I know. <coughs> Minor Forge. Minor Forge. Um, I know that. I didn't manage to get through it without taking damage very often, so I didn't manage to get the the 60 kills Meduda. But I don't think I used yeah, I didn't use my health flask. Right? So Oh I've just realized it doesn't matter if I go to the clock tower or the slumbering sanctuary. In both cases you end up at the clock room. Oh well. I do prefer that level, even though uh, it's difficult. Why did you do that? That's not fair. Stop that. I rolled. You saw me roll. You all saw it. I can't roll this many times in a row. It's not fair. Stop, letting me, stop making me try. Range. Nice. Didn't know that worked. I can't keep up with this boss. I don't recognize any of his attacks. This is a trouble, right? So I am struggling to know what to do when. So I'm being all like. Hey, why don't you? Uh, why don't you dodge now, roll now, and then all of a sudden, we're in a position where. Hey, where'd you go? How many did you get? That's too many. You don't get that many. Three. You didn't get one. It's not fair. Let me out. I have got one more health file left, although that was terrible. Let's just use this. Die! He's gonna go! He's gonna go! Kill him! <gasps> it was him or me! <laughs> no, not yet! Look, how many times have I killed you? And you keep coming back to life. You know, I die later on. You know what? We've done quite well. I like the shrug. Oh, thank you. Um. Yes. I don't know why. I just feel like it. Okay. I don't 
think that was in any way any skill that I put into that. That was completely luck. It's one of those bosses that you so infrequently get the opportunity to fight. Take no damage, yeah. You take... Uh, you so infrequently fight that Joker that um, I just do not understand the patterns. It's as simple as that. Oh, I should give the... I, I, I got a blueprint. You all watch me run right past the collector and go, No! Ice crossbow. Tap to freeze enemies. Hold to inflict crits. I want that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to unlock it this time in any case, so... It's not that big of a deal that we couldn't get it, but I feel like I could probably make it through the High Peak Castle with the loadout that we've got, provided we find the right elite uh, and don't take too much damage in between them. But again, this is one of those situations where as you play these levels less and less, you don't have the... Yikes! You don't necessarily have the, um, the skills and the... the Sort of the default behavior. I've been through, I've done this before, and yet I can't do it now. Okay, whatever. I don't need money at <laughs> this stage of the game. Oh, I appreciate how you could hit me in my state of uh, duress there, but I wasn't allowed to throw a grenade. So there was some period where I could take damage, but I couldn't cause it. Bit rich. Very nice if we had managed to get guys some form of. Um... Why have you got that much range? <laughs> you don't need that much range. Nobody needs that much range. Let me out. Also, that's bollocks. <laughs> the the advice to sort of not kill everything really falls apart when trying to run away is punished, which I witted on about ages ago at the start of this particular. Uh, episode. But, you know, I, I value the ability to go away and not be persecuted for doing so. But the enemies right now leave no opportunity for me to not be doing this. This is very stressful. Keep pressing Y and holding it in, as if I had the... Uh, as if I still had the uh, lightning thingy. Let's do this. <laughs> no, I haven't. Leave me alone, Malaise. Oi. Don't appreciate that. Being honest, all right, good. That particular elite, can't help but notice, didn't do that new uh, flipping um, beaten nonsense where it had a, an extra help that it doesn't need. Just saying, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> Did it die? At least it took damage whilst it was doing its windmill attack from the, uh, the, the thing they do. The, the boomerang there, because it's kind of pesky, but... Why? Are you seeing this? He's forcing himself to go forwards, and he ended up in the spikes. I just want you to, to kill the dude without hitting the spikes, you know? There's plenty of room for you to hit that guy. Without walking on the spikes, you chose to walk on the spikes, and I'm now shouting about it. I'm, I'm so... It's, it's absurd. You know? Give me this. I'm salty. <laughs> I am. You're, you're not wrong. I'm pretty salty because I wanted to stab the guy with my twin dagger fingers, which, by the way, could be better. Um, and the game just chose to also have this moving forward mechanic that you can't avoid. <laughs> also, I couldn't, like, the bad guy was there, right? 
So, I'm going, what? Which course of action would you prefer me to take? I'm in the thing. I don't want to be in the thing, but I can't get out of the thing. Oh, at least in Isaac, you can get a speed upgrade. So if you get sucked into the vortex, you can just sort of ignore it. You can run away. I just have to keep waiting for my uh, grenades to cool down. And I think in the, in the alpha, uh, before the beta came out, I should say, in the release version. Why have you got a shield of me? I don't want that. I don't want any of this. <laughs> Leave me alone. Here you go. Um, the there was just a straight up cooldown buff, which is ideal. It's exactly what I wanted. The grenade cooldown buff, and then oh, on one on one side, and then the uh, the um, everything else cooldown buff on the tactics. Well, I've managed to get all my HP back without using my. Well, I believe is my final flask. But I still gotta fight two elites. No! I love how they're dragging this along. It does take damage. But you can't get out of this attack, it's silly. I hate it. I I don't have there's no satisfaction left in a lot of these enemies because the power that I used to have to kill things has been taken away by the the mechanics of the enemies, which means Oh god help. Um Um what? See, I just have to run around now and wait for the stun grenade to be available. And then do that. Get him in the fire. Avoid that attack. Get him in the fire. Avoid that attack. Throw this at him. See if that helps. Doesn't help. And now I've got all this malaise as well. And I can't... There's not enough rolls in the world. I can't stop the thing from hitting me and I can't avoid the attacks because they happen faster than I can avoid attacks. <laughs> Obviously this is me because other people do not have this flaming problem. Well maybe they do, but people are better at this game than I am and can beat these things. But I can't beat them and I can see exactly why because how do you attack that enemy without freezing it? You know, I throw the thing at it and it disappears. It walks away so the, the boomerang doesn't work anymore and you attack it with your thingy but then you're too close to it and you can't dodge that many times because it does three attacks, one of which has an AOE. So you can't get out of the way because you can only do a dodge roll once in a while for some fucking reason. I'm salty. This game really aggravates me when you get to the end because I think what's happening is that the end of the game is like the start of the game used to be but I cannot practice the end of the game. Right, so if we can do more dailies where we have the castle, I can get more used to how to avoid these enemies, but we've only done one daily in the castle so far, and I didn't do very well because I had to keep avoiding these enemies. So they're very well tuned against you, but I have not yet figured out how to tune myself consistently to be against them. So, you know, rants aside, thank you for watching. I'm probably going to continue to rant about this every single time, by the way, so I hope you enjoy that little bit at the end. I always try to dial it back. It's like, I know that I'm ranting, but it's okay. <laughs> at some point, I just have to get better at the game. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the episode. I hope that I remembered to put the cut in the middle, and I hope that I'll see you next time. But until then, I'll see you.